TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update on this 21st uh, of September, Wednesday, Fed speak day at about 2 to 2.30. We'll get all that information. Looking at the Dow up 187, doesn't matter what the Dow does right now. It's what it's doing, not uh, uh, 30 minutes before the announcement. It's what it's doing 30 minutes after the announcement, and that's going to be really important. So uh, we are looking at the low yesterday of 30,465. I would just say that a close under 30,400 makes that 30,000 level absolutely critical in September to hold. Let's keep it as simple as that. And hopefully some kind of a spike gets you to the 31,100, 31,300 level over the next week. We're looking at the S&P. At this particular point, the S&P is following the Dow. It's up nicely. It's up 22 at 38.78, a little bit above yesterday's uh, high. And this is really important. I want to see the 3850s hold as support. A break under that would be quite poor. You're looking at the QQQ. That's the Index 100 trading vehicle, the Invesco QQQ Trust Series, trading at 290.06, up $1.30. It's had three green candles, and today's another green candle so far. Not good enough. It's made a little cluster formation. What you want to see is the cluster formation becomes a springboard for a move into the 293, 296 area over the coming few days, not the 286 area. IWM, Russell 2000. Uh, trading up a dollar at 179. Yeah, not bad action. We'll see what happens when we do this tomorrow at this time because you want to see that either Russell small caps, the 2000, really start to move strongly over the next two, three weeks. You're looking at gold. Now, gold had, uh, earlier on, it had a very nice move to the upside. Now it's up about 8 or $9 at 1680 This is also that cluster formation at the bottom. It becomes a fulcrum for the downside if it closes under 1658 but if it's able to close in the 1690, 1690 area, that's good. Uh, bonds, let me just do this real quickly. Bonds are trading up for a change, so the yields are coming down. And crude oil, crude oil is tra trading up a fraction. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. Very important session coming up. We'll be back in a few minutes.